hey it's your girl lovely fly shy back with another video thank you all for tuning in on this beautiful glorious monday morning um wishing you all a prosperous week a successful week a positive week first and foremost and just a very let me close this window because i get really distracted when it's open Okay, guys, I closed it. I'm tending to always, like, look that way. I noticed in my other video. But anyways, I just hope you all have an amazing week. So, um, you know, lately, I've just been following my spirit, my spirit guide. guide. My spirit guide. <laughs> A.K.A. God is what I meant to say. God's request. Jeez. So, when I am instructed to do something, whether that be make a video write something or what have you i get right on it <laughs> um so the first thing that was placed on my heart to share with you all this morning <clears throat> was this this book that i'm reading i'm only in the foreword of this book and they've said a mouthful now this book is called behold Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this book, but I'll read you this last piece here. Um, this last piece is what really, what really got me. <clears throat> like it or not, everything is changing. The result will be the most wonderful experience in the history of man or the most horrible enslavement that you can imagine. Be active or ab or excuse me, abdicate. The future is in your hands. Be active or abdicate. The future is in your hands. Now, when I read this last piece and uh a couple other pieces that I highlighted as you know me this is like a Bible <laughs> you know when I get a good book it's like a Bible to me so I highlight the most important pieces um, but yeah like I said I'm only in the forward the forwards pretty long um, before I get to chapter one the official chapter um, but yeah so this is chapter one Okay, chapter one is excerpts from silent weapons for quiet wars. So that's going to be an interesting chapter. If I can hurry up and read past <laughs> the, the uh, forward, but I'll take some, you know, I'll take some time to read it and use my discernment. So I would be able to um, make out my own conception of what it is he's trying to deliver in his book <clears throat> so i definitely um suggest you all or recommend that you all get that book because yeah uh man i've been watching like so many different videos i'm gonna get more into that later um i don't want to like you know because obviously as you guys can see this channel i have like different niches like i'm a, basically a jill of all trades you know i do makeup on this channel I um, do my hair on this channel I talk about addiction on this channel um, healing and transformation as well as you know I'm a truther I'm a truth seeker and most of all I would like to learn about the truth of this reality and the truth in which well what I'll say is I want to um, debunk some of the some of like what we were raised on like some of the values and such you know so not only am i on this spiritual journey of you know healing the soul and <clears throat> bringing that pain and that trauma to the surface and dealing with that in a healthy way and coping with it and you know making peace with it like not only am i on that journey but you know i'm just on this journey of continuous awareness and um of course awakening spiritually but like i said 
So we're gonna talk about a little bit of everything. So if you guys ever think that like, oh my God, she's going from one thing to another, like my videos are always gonna be different. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about the same thing all the time. I may mix and match it. <laughs> so anyways, <coughs> excuse me guys, I need to take a drink of water. Aside from all that, <clears throat> water tastes weird all right <sighs> aside from that though I've just I have not been feeling good and I will attest it partially to like my whole spiritual awakening process I'm not saying that like I'm fully awakened or you know I believe it truly is a process and I believe it's one that you have to be patient with one that you should not rush um, because this is another message that was put on my heart to share with you guys. I just remembered. Um, I know, like I said, that I'm a truth seeker and I want to find out, you know, all these hidden things. I just want to find out just all of the truths of, of, you know, this existence and this world and the truth and debunk, like, everything that was told to us, like, you know. And the thing is with that is if you try to... Um, go at it like head first head on like just a million miles per hour and you're trying to just receive all of this information it can be very um scary because you know allow it to come to you in increments allow the truth to come to you in increments not only unraveling the truth about your history about your family's history or whatever the case is but also the truth about this you know this thing here this thing called life and there's some things that like i almost like i won't even lie you guys <clears throat> i'm not gonna say like oh you know i can see into different dimensions or anything weird like that like i don't want you guys to think oh my god this girl's crazy because it's not that it's just basically i almost seen something that i was not ready to see in a dream and that was scary. So that's why I'm trying to share with you all and tell you all to just take your time with this. Like, don't try to think that you have to learn everything, just everything that there is to learn in just one day. Because then you're probably, yeah, if you knew the truth behind it all and, and everything and you found that all out in one day, yeah. Good night. <laughs> Because if you're not committed in some psych ward, you're probably going to end up dead. So yeah, take it easy. And um, don't rush the process. Trust the process. Oh, wait, I like that. <clears throat> don't rush the process. Trust the process. Hey, okay. I'm going to make sure nobody came up with that on YouTube yet. Because if not, I just, I just made that up. <laughs> don't rush the process, baby. Trust it. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, like I said, so I just feel like finally last night, though, I did make a video, but I, I'm probably going to just try to combine it with this one or post it later, but I spoke in a separate video about the fact that, like, I haven't been able to sleep, my stomach has been very upset, and I watched a couple of videos. Of course, I took everything with a grain of salt. Like, I don't just watch things or read things, and I'm like, oh my god, that's truth. No, like, of course, I, I, you know, I res like I try to resonate with it and I reflect on it and I ponder on it and then I can come up with my conclusion, but I don't just believe everything people say or I don't just believe what is in front of me. Like, I question everything. So, <clears throat> with that said, I just, I don't know, you guys, I just feel... I guess in a way, I kind of felt like it was like a spiritual attack in a way, like by the enemy. But then I was like, it could be someone, someone who I can, or I have the hunch rather, um, that's probably sending some bad juju my way in an attempt to try to stop what I have going or stop what God has already ordained. And it's like, it's not going to work. Excuse me. 
Um, and as I was saying, my stomach has just been very upset, like just very upset. Um, and I was reading somewhere that that could, you know, have something to do, you know, spiritually. I always try to look at every aspect, of course, physically, spiritually, emotionally, etc. So, um, what was another one of my symptoms? Oh, not sleeping. <laughs> I last night finally slept. Like I've like got to my wits end yesterday. Like that's why I was extremely moody. Um, which you know isn't an excuse to be a b word, but I was just so tired. I was exhausted, and finally, like I just I fell asleep and I woke up around. I think I woke up around like, cause it's yeah, I woke up around seven it's eight now but yeah so I finally slept a, like a little bit better last night but previously before that like yesterday type stuff I was only getting about three to five hours of sleep hours of sleep and I was waking up between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. which are so they say the witching hours or in spirituality there's a lot of different um, nuances that they uh you know try to what is the word that i'm looking for i hate when that happens sorry guys i had to fix my chair it's just basically it just oh the group yeah what they try to group it in and, and categorize it as so yeah i just i don't know i just feel like a lot i kind of feel a bit heavy um but not like not in a bad way like I don't feel boggled down or weighed down hence why I'm trying to stay busy and not trying to fall <clears throat> into those feelings of despair or give into those feelings of just just really any kind of negative emotion I just want to stay busy I want to stay creative and I want to stay just doing something because <laughs> you know that's what the enemy don't want you to do they want you to just give up and all hail you and you just give up no I will never give up and I'll never stop what I'm doing um I'm on this mission for a reason and I feel like you know God placed something within me for a reason um ever since I was a little girl it's like as I'm a as I'm an adult now I feel as though I get visions like of my okay how can I put it basically I'm watching myself as a little girl right and in my little girl's mind's eye I can see like myself now but like my future self higher self if that makes sense so <clears throat> I know that may sound crazy but trust me it makes complete and perfect sense all I'm trying to say is you know it's, it's you know I elevated I grew and um with that, you know, it comes change. There comes transformation. And it's a continuous thing. Like, I'm, I'm going to continue to transform and elevate and grow. Um, and most of all, heal. So, I just look forward. I got to put this hair up, y'all. But, yeah, I just look forward to um, continuing this journey with you all. Because it is a huge passion of mine. Like, I've been doing YouTube um well I've had this channel for nine years but I was rather inconsistent as a little 15 year old <laughs> I made one video and that was it you didn't hear nothing else from me for nine years <laughs> but um but yeah you guys I just pretty much wanted to say you know don't don't feel discouraged you know, I know in this journey of awakening, you feel crazy because I do. <laughs> you feel crazy sometimes. You can't pronunciate your words. Sometimes you can't really get out what it is you're trying to decipher. But you know, in your mind, it, it makes perfect sense. But when you're trying to voice that, it's like, huh? It's like scattered, you know, or skewed rather. But just know that, you know, you're not alone. Um, just take it like one day at a time. Don't think that you have to rush the process. Trust the process. Um, and in healing and in, tra in transforming, you can share that 
knowledge that you've attained over time and over the years of your self-development and spiritual growth and personal growth and you can share that with others who are struggling the way you want one day have you know so all in all I say that to say you all <clears throat> I kind of like my hair like this it's kind of cute all right. I say that to say this though. Um, keep doing what you're doing. You are on the right track. You know, you may feel discouraged. You may feel doubtful at times, but believe in yourself. You know, have faith, never lose your faith because you didn't make it thus far just to make it thus far. You made it this far for a reason. And yeah, screw the naysakers, naysakers, <laughs> naysayers. They're going to say whatever they want and they're going to do whatever they want. I mean, that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Let them talk. Naysayers are going to be naysayers. But the focus right now, you guys, most of all, is just focusing on oneself, you know, reaching that, you know, that higher level or attaining that higher purpose and or, or whatever it is that you wish to wish to seek in this existence. But I just know that we have to make sense of it all first. It, and basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make sense of it all. But, 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 excuse me. <laughs> See y'all, I told y'all last night I have a stuttering problem. But no, in increments, I want to, you know, take it all in, but in increments. Because if you do it and you allow it to just all, basically, you want the floodgates to basically just be wide open, you're going to be in for one. I'm telling you, like, I've already seen a glimpse of it. Like, this is not to scare anybody or anything like this, but I'm just telling you, like, <clears throat> it's not what you think. It is not what you think. But I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to edit this video. I do appreciate you guys for watching. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. So I'm planning on going to the Cheesecake Factory. I think I've been there maybe once or twice. So um, we'll probably do that. And I believe they sing you happy birthday. So I think that'll be a you know cute little experience for her um so yeah i do hope you all have an amazing monday stay productive stay active get moving you know don't let the enemy win he wants us to feed into the spirit of laziness he wants us to feed into the spirit of unproductivity he wants us to feed into the spirit of you know gossip hate drama and worried about the being worried about the next person rather than being worried upon ourselves so stay busy stay focused and uh you know keep going don't rush the process trust it <laughs> until my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in a bit peace